the world in the U.S. has changed so much in the last few years, both politically and financially. And many of these changes have resulted in folks looking outside the country for opportunity. The good news is that Costa Rica can really be a great plan B for many of us looking for a change. You know, when I first got here, none of this growth was happening. I came here hoping to open a scuba diving business. And on my first weekend visiting, I just fell in love with Costa Rica. Its beauty and people is unbelievable. And back then, it was really kind of a backwards place in many ways, but I liked it that way. You couldn't buy a cell phone. We had the world's slowest dial-up internet. And there really weren't a lot of Americans here then. But all that's changed starting in 2004. It's been amazing to watch this country change so much in, in such a short time. Although many people have heard of Costa Rica, I'd like to take this time to share, you know, what I've learned while living here since 2002. I've been blessed to enjoy its natural beauty and charm, but even more importantly, I've been able to benefit financially by leveraging my assets into this growing and changing country. Eight years ago, we broke ground on Grandview Estates. We turned 640 acres of pasture ground into the premier project on the Caribbean side of this country. No one else has done anything like it. You might be looking for a vacation home, a retirement home, or simply a good investment or it might be a combination of all three. So what I've done, I've put together a PowerPoint presentation and hopefully it's not gonna be one of those death by PowerPoint shows. I hate those myself, but you know, it's really been hard to distill 13 years of work and learning into a one hour presentation. I hope to give you enough of an overview so that if there's really anything that you see that piques your interest, you can contact me directly for more information. You may be wondering, why Costa Rica? Well, Costa Rica is an outstanding in really many ways. First and foremost, for me, it's the culture and the people. I like it so much that I married a beautiful Costa Rican lady, and that was almost 12 years ago now. <clears throat> Unlike some other countries, us gringos really don't feel unwanted or unsafe. And the fact that Costa Rica doesn't have an army has made the country very peace loving. Over the last few years, many things have become modernized. So that if you're thinking of moving here, you know, you're gonna have all the comforts and all the conveniences you need. We've even recently put fiber optic internet to our project. So that if you wanna work online or if it's just to stay in touch with your family, it's really easy now. When we selected the location for Grandview, we designed a place where folks could have a huge lot, a nice house, but yet live affordably and not have to worry about money. The great thing is, is that if you build a house outright like most folks do, you can really live very comfortably on a social security income or a pension of about $1,500 or so a month. Because we're separated by a mountain range from San Jose and the rest of the country, we don't have a six month wet and dry season like the rest of us. So I would describe our pattern is more of an even distribution of rain throughout the year. With July and December, there are rainier months. But generally at Grandview, it's about 82 degrees during the day and it goes down into the 70s at night. What's really great is that there's also a steady year-round breeze because we're in the foothills of the mountains. And when you orient your house properly, you really don't need air conditioning and of course never any heat. So I find that strategically placed fans in the house, that's really all we need to be comfortable. And it really helps when you design the house to have a nice big porch that provides shade so even if it is a hot day outside, the inside stays oh, about 78, 80 degrees. It's funny, but when you're browsing the internet, 
there is so much misinformation out there about the Caribbean. Most of what you read is by folks who are just repeating something they heard. They've never spent any time here. That's the main reason I wrote my book. It's really to dispel all those rumors. I know the country pretty well, and I've traveled it extensively, really all over the place. And, uh, you know, on many occasions after returning home from some vacation time on the Pacific, because I like to go out there spear fishing or just roaming around, when I get home, I'm always struck with the beauty and nature we have here. The Caribbean is so underrated in so many ways, but that's mainly because people just don't know. You know, we're kind of like cattle, I think. <laughs> we just follow the masses. And for so long, the Pacific has been the main travel destination. And for good reason. Years ago, there were no roads out here. So naturally, what people did when they went to the Pacific, they went where the traveling was easier. But all that's changed. And once you check it out, you're going to find that it's just as modern and comfortable and even more beautiful than a lot of the parts of the country. The Caribbean beaches, they're especially beautiful. This photo is of Manzanillo. And when you go down to Manzanillo Beach, it's really like going back in time, especially if you go midweek. You might by the, be the only person on the beach. You know, I remember when I was a kid going to Jones Beach on Long Island. Sometimes the beach would be so crowded, you had trouble finding a spot just to lay down your towel. And one of my favorite things, and really a difference between the two coasts, is that the palm trees and the almond trees, they grow right up to the water's edge. And you and your family can just lay around in the shade all day and jump in the water when you feel like it. But the Pacific side beaches are quite different, especially during the dry season. I mean, the sand gets very hot to walk on. And you may have to sit way back from the beach to find some shade. If you're planning a trip to enjoy the Caribbean beaches, I really suggest September or October. The weather's perfect, the water's flat, and it's that beautiful turquoise color that the Caribbean is famous for. Check out these beautiful photos. Uh, you know, I really have learned to appreciate the little things while living in Costa Rica. Just a simple walk in the morning around the project lifts your spirits. Some of you might be old enough to remember Toucan Sam. Remember, he was the mascot on Fruit Loop cereal. You know, as a kid, I never imagined that I'd be walking around in a place where you could literally see dozens of these beautiful birds playing around in the trees. I'll never forget the first time I saw one. It was flying overhead and, you know, my first thought was, why is that bird flying around with a banana sticking out of his mouth? It was his yellow beak. And this waterfall, it's on our property and it's one of my favorites. You know, there's nothing more refreshing than taking a nice long walk or riding horses and then jumping in the pool below the waterfall. Oh man, my dogs love it too. You know, of course, living on the Caribbean, fishing and diving are almost mandatory. Again, I'm always struck by the sheer lack of people or boats. It's like having the whole ocean to yourself. And the fishing is world class, as many of you know. Horses are an integral part of Costa Rican life. You know, many days you're going to see more horses going up and down our road than cars. We literally have hundreds of miles of back roads and trails that's going to keep you busy exploring for years to come. And we have stables and pasture ground. And if you like horses, we've got an equestrian center so you can make them part of your everyday life here. If not, and you just like to ride on occasion, you can do that too. We have one of the world's best whitewater rafting rivers right in our backyard the Pequari River. It runs through some of the most pristine and untouched portions of the country. And if you like this sort of adventure, you're never going to get tired of it. I've done this river at least two dozen times, and I've got another trip planned next week too. So 
There's lots of other great rivers throughout the country for whitewater rafting. I suggest to do them all. You can enjoy some of the best tarpon and snook fishing in the whole world. Whether you go to Tortuguero National Park or just about anywhere along the Caribbean coast. Even though the fishery on the Pacific is more famous, we also have some of the best blue water fishing as well. Got marlin, sailfish, tuna. As I mentioned earlier, my first thought when I came to Costa Rica was, I'm going to open up a dive shop because I am a paddy scuba instructor and just love it. And although I've not done that yet, we do have some of the most unspoiled and uncrowded diving, diving and snorkeling spots in the world. I took this photo of a guy I met while snorkeling. He was collecting octopus and I was watching him playing around and he showed me how to do it. Then we went and we collected some oysters and other shellfish. Then he actually came back to our hotel room and he cooked us up a great meal. Even though Costa Rica is only about the size of West Virginia, we have almost as many bird species here as in all of North America. Right here at Grandview, we see the great green macaw and hundreds of other species on a regular basis. Funny, one of my wife's pet peeves is that the toucan chatter wakes her up too early in the morning. I don't know about you, but to me, that's a pretty good complaint to have. Our volcanoes, birds, and wildlife makes this place a nature photographer's dream. Just a few miles from Grandview, they've established a, ja a jaguar sanctuary. I've never seen one myself, but real nature photographers find them on a regular basis. Here's our waterfall and here's a few of my horses. And as you can tell by now, one of the main reasons people fall in love with Costa Rica is the natural beauty. I'll never forget one owner who came. It's his first visit to Grandview. He actually had a deposit on a lot. And he was so afraid that when he came, he was going to get a timeshare pressure sale or something like that. And, and he was telling me, well, Gail, I will not be making any decisions when I come down. I have to go back home. I'm going to think about it discuss it with my family and my friends, and then I'm going to pray about it. I said, no problem, Jeff. Just enjoy yourself and whatever you decide is fine. So we got on horses and we toured around, and we went up to the high point at Grandview, and you're overlooking the whole Caribbean plain. You can literally see for miles and miles, and the Caribbean's out there in the distance. And Jeff turned to me and said, count me in. That's the way it usually works. You know, I always ask people this question. Compared to the mind's eye view you had when you were looking at the photos on the internet and what you expected to see, now that you're here, how do things compare in person? Without exception, they tell me that although they knew it was gonna be very beautiful, it's even more stunning in person. Check out this fresh produce we've got. You know, living on our huge lots, we've got your own stream frontage, and it makes life very enjoyable on a daily basis. There's lots of room for a big house, a guest house and pool, and you never feel cramped. Best of all, you can grow more fresh fruits and vegetables than you ever imagined. And the good news is, it's not like you have to be an expert gardener either. With our climate, and super rich volcanic soils, you can literally have two brown thumbs and still grow whatever you like. Personally, I grow, let's see, pineapples, coconuts, bananas, papaya, plantains, avocados, sugarcane, star fruit, figs, on and on. And of course, all your standard vegetables too. Good news is you can do this year round. My trees and garden are also 100% organic and we never have pest problems. Even if you don't wanna grow anything, all these fruits and vegetables are just available everywhere. There's small family fruit stands up and down the road. You know, a big deal is made here in the US if you can get your produce from within 100 miles of where you live. Here, that's just normal. 
and it's very inexpensive. This photo here is about, oh, I'd say a week's worth of food, and it only costs $22. The best thing, even if we have large lots, we don't have to kill ourselves in maintaining them. My lot is two acres, and I pay my local guy, it's around 80 bucks a month, and he keeps the whole thing cut, and he takes care of all my plants and trees. Now, I still love to work in the yard, but I only do the fun stuff. The first time I tried to do it myself, it took me eight hours of weed whacking and mowing. So paying 80 bucks to have it all done for me, I think it's a bargain. Okay, here's the main entrance to Grandview. We're situated on 640 acres of land and we have over seven miles of internal roads. The electricity, water, everything's in place for whenever you'd like to build. Unlike a lot of projects, if you choose not to build, that's fine. We don't have any building or timing requirements. And if you would like to build your own home, you can do it. It's not required to even use our building services. But I think once you see how great our homes turn out, I think you might choose to use us. We have five rivers and several waterfalls to enjoy. We also have a community swimming pool and a small gym. There's an equestrian center where you can train horses or join us for our regular parties. I mean, they're fantastic. We have bull riding, horse races, along with music and all the local food. There's over a thousand people that join our parties. There's no other projects on the Caribbean of this type. We just keep growing and improving all the time. You know, only a few months ago, we had our own dedicated fiber optic lines installed. Compared to when I moved there, and it took 10 minutes to download an internet page, this is a miracle. We also have 24 seven security. I think the most important aspect of this is if you're like many of us, you may like to travel. If you do, with today's technology, you can set up a system at your house that will alert the guard's cell phone if an alarm goes off, and it can be there in a minute or so. That way, you can enjoy your travels with peace of mind, knowing you have nothing to worry about at home. Don't forget, with the permanent residents and your neighbors, they all love to help take care of your doggies and whatever other things you need while you're gone. We are now a really nice established thriving community with an interesting mix of residents. I mean, we've got people from the US, Canada, Costa Rica, Trinidad, Poland, just all over the place. Now this is a map of phase four. When we started Grandview, there was more than one person that told us we were crazy and no one would ever buy a lot. Well. We have 121 total lots and we've sold 90 so far. Not too bad for crazy people, huh? We've sold out phases one through three and currently we're building in phase four. At this time, we really don't have any plans for more lots. So there's about 30 remaining, then we're done. And you know, here's something to think about. From an investor standpoint, this is important because there's so many projects on the Pacific that literally have thousands of lots and they're gonna be selling for decades. So if you wanna resell, you're always gonna be competing with the developer. Not so at Grandview. Once these 30 lots are sold, the only available will be the resales. Not that you have to wait, we've already sold several lots for people who bought early on. And they enjoyed over 100% profit. If you look at the map, You'll see that most of the lots in phase four have stream frontage, it's towards the back, and there are a minimum of one and a quarter acres. The high point is at the road going down the middle, and most lots slope down towards the streams. The average elevation, I would say, is roughly about 700 feet about sea level, and it lets us enjoy a constant breeze that comes up off the Caribbean plain. You know, it keeps the temperature very nice, and keeps the bugs and mosquitoes to a minimum. Look at these great homes and woodworking we've done. Wait till you see the quality that we do. You know, legally, all our construction has to be approved by an architect and the country's board of engineers. 
because buildings in Costa Rica are designed to withstand seismic movement. You wouldn't believe the amount of concrete and rebar that we use. It's really incredible. The homes are solid block. All the cores are filled with concrete. And, you know, a couple years ago, we had a 7.4 earthquake. And I was up there at the time, and I was standing by the pool watching water slash out of the pool like waves in an ocean. Yet, there was no damage done to any of our homes. And our square foot building cost is still very reasonable. It's only that runs around $75 a square foot for the average home. That includes custom wood cabinets, granite countertops, custom built doors, and very nice tile. You know, you could even design your own home, or you can choose to use our architect. That's really easy to do as my architect speaks fluent English. One of the important aspects of using an architect is that he is legally responsible for the quality of the building for five years. While building, he comes to the site every week to do an inspection, you know, as, as it's being built, and all visits are registered in the logbook, and any changes or issues he may have encountered, they're logged right in there. And if you're not there the whole time for the building, with today's technology, he can send you videos or photos, and you can keep up to date with every aspect on the progress of your home. And when you come down for the final inspection, you're going to have a very short punch list of items to take care of. Most people want a town nearby, so you don't want to be shagging a couple hours just to get groceries, right? And our closest town is Securities. It's only about six miles away, and the population is over 70,000 people. So, of course, we have all the amenities that are important. There's uh, four banks, several grocery stores, hardware stores, restaurants, along with your typical clothing and shoe stores. Our clients tend to be in their 50s and up. We've got a couple younger, but of course, good medical care as we get older is really important when we're considering the place to live. You don't have to worry about that in Costa Rica, and especially at Grandview. Just this year, they completed a brand new hospital in town with all new equipment, and most of the doctors speak English. You know, I know there's an uproar in the States about healthcare right now, but Costa Rica has a social health care system that works very well. As I mentioned, 100% coverage for my wife and I is only $69 a month. Need a heart transplant or you need a heart transplant? It's all covered. The coolest thing is this came about in 1948. That was the last civil war in Costa Rica. Two sides were fighting because of their love for the country, and it dawned on them that they were just killing each other and wasting all the resources. So they got together, they put down their guns, and they constitutionally banned the army. They decided to put all that wasted money to good use by supplying everyone in the country with health care and a good education. What a fantastic decision that was. You know, over the last few years, Costa Rica has really become a haven for those of us looking for a change. All of us have a variety of interests and requirements and desires. But I can tell you, many people feel an instant affinity once they get their boots on the ground here. And this is not something that takes a lot of analytical thought either. Most of that's been done before we ever visit you're going to feel such an attraction to the people and culture. When I'm traveling for a while and I come back home, I go through customs and I see real smiles and friendliness in their faces, and then it hits me. That's what I've been missing. It's not the nice house or the material things. It's the feel of the place that gets into you. So we also have some really easy finance options. This is all in-house financing. And I'd have to say our most popular program, and the reason being, you know, when people decide to do this, a lot of times their money may be tied up in a CD or an IRA, and it's going to take a little while to shift things around. 
So we make it super easy for you. We give you a two-year interest-free program. So 35% deposit, and you just make quarterly payments for two years interest-free. We have the 50% down program and the 40% down. Both of those, you're going to see that the interest rates change just a little bit. Um, and like I said, this is all in-house. You can't be turned down. And there's something else I wanted to say about this. Uh, oh, yeah, it's all custom financing. So, I mean, if you have a particular need, uh, we can really work with anybody in, in any way that works for both of us to make this happen. Here's a pretty bad graphic. <laughs> I didn't do this when I got it out of the newspaper. Uh, but there's a new mega port that's going in to our port city, Limon and Moine. Uh, they're going to actually build this huge island and bring these huge tankers in because uh, there's a lot of changes with the Panama Canal, etc. So uh, there's bigger ships than ever and they need a place local to offload them. But why a piece of ground on the Caribbean is a great investment, that's becoming very apparent. First of all, we all know real estate is about three things, right? Location, location, and location. We have one of the three mega ports in the world being constructed as we speak, and it's only 25 miles from us. It just got started, but I can tell you, I can see the effect it's having on local real estate prices. Another sign of the growth, check this out. This is, this is literally in our backyard, and it, it's, it's the new hydro project. It's the largest in Central America, and the main reason it's being built is to supply the heavy demand and the growth in our area. And you know, what's great is any electricity produced that's extra is going to be sold to the surrounding countries. It's also the site of the Jaguar protection area that's being formed in conjunction with this project. And we're also working with the builder of this project on a new timber investment company. You know, there's been millions of Molina trees planted over the last few years as part of carbon credit programs and basically from interested investors around the world. They're taking advantage of our great weather and fertile volcanic soil to grow trees. Costa Rica will be 100% carbon neutral in a few years, and we're the only country with those bragging rights. Almost all of our electricity right now is produced with hydro or wind. And talk about a country that knows how to attract business and not repel it with crazy taxation. We have a brand new free trade zone that's open that's only a few miles from our project. Right now, they're looking for up to 12 companies to open new businesses, especially different types of manufacturing operations. This concept began years ago in San Jose, and I know it was responsible for attracting huge companies like Intel, Procter & Gamble. You know, we've got HP here, IBM, and many Fortune 500 companies. The goal is to have companies produce about 80% of the product for export and 20% for in-country sales. They understand that providing jobs is important to the area and the infrastructure that goes along with it as well. You know, as incentives, they eliminate taxes for many years they provide cheap electricity, let you bring in equipment duty-free that's for the operations, and there's a lot of many other great incentives. So often folks ask me, how can they be sure that Costa Rica is a good place to invest in? And I point out that you and I can do our due diligence, but can you imagine the amount of due diligence these companies have done before moving their personnel and operations here? They're not moving to Nicaragua or Panama. So I figure that we can certainly trust following their lead and know it's a good decision. So if you really want to take the plunge and do something great, there are some real incentives for doing that here. Heck, I know a guy who lives right near my uh, Florida condo, right? And he just moved here and he started a mute business. He's making wooden mutes for brass instruments and he's selling them around the world. One of the strongest leverage points we bring with us to Costa Rica is our can-do attitude and our entrepreneurial spirit. Costa Ricans 
you know, they've really not had the same experience or mindset that we have. So bringing that with you is really one of the most valuable tools you can have. I took this video a few months ago. This is a view of Turiabo Volcano. I apologize because I know in this format the video can be a little bit choppy. But if you look at my YouTube page, you can find it on there. You can actually see this volcano from some parts of Grandview. But the good news is it's far enough away and the winds are always in the opposite direction. So it just provides a beautiful backdrop and it's not dangerous at all. This view is from about, I would say, two miles up the main road from Grandview. And we've sold several farms in this area over the years. It's just fantastic up here. And these views are spectacular. We also abut the largest national park in Costa Rica, La Amistad National Park. There are over 1 million acres of pure nature here. We've got the purest water and air you can imagine. And looking down to the valley here uh, and out into the distance, you're looking way down towards Panama. When scientists go in here, they always discover new species of insects, and frogs, and plants. And if you look close, I can kind of see them over on the top there. Uh, you'll notice that there's some tree plantings from a company in New Europe. They donate huge sums of money helping to keep the country green and offset carbon. Did you know that Costa Rica is one of the few countries on Earth that when looked at by satellite, it's actually greener than it was 20 years ago. It doesn't matter how many times I go up here. I'm always blown away by the natural beauty. Okay, that about wraps up the PowerPoint presentation, folks. I hope I didn't bore you too much with that. Great. Well, we're going to bring this presentation in for a landing. You know, there's so much more I could say, but in this limited amount of time, I hope I gave you enough information that should you be interested in Costa Rica, you now have a better idea of what to expect and some of the advantages of living and investing here. Most of you should have received an e-copy of my book, and if not, just let me know and I'll gladly send one along. And following, you're going to see my contact information. I'll leave this presentation posted so you can use the link you have to go back to the video at any time or share it with friends. Thanks so much for watching. Good night. I'm going to go ahead and put up our contact information so you can have that. Here's a copy of the cover of my book. And you can go ahead and use that and contact me at any time. Thanks again, folks. Good night.